I'm currently in New York, so I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to film a video on how you can eat the French way while living in the United States. So first of all, let me start out by saying that I'm not telling you that you have to eat the French way. There are definitely perks to eating the American way. Also, I'm not saying that every single French person eats this way or that every single American person eats a certain way. These are just tips if you feel like you want to eat a little bit more the French way and you find it hard to do so because you live in the US, these are the tips to help you. That's it. If you don't feel concerned by any of this, then you don't have to watch the video. And if you feel like you don't have time to do any of this, stay until the end. The first step to eating the French way in the US is to focus on whole foods and high quality products. I think probably the best thing to do if you are an American person trying to eat more the French way is to mainly get whole foods. There aren't as many processed food choices or at least like ultra processed food choices as in the US and also these choices tend to be more expensive whereas like in the US the ultra processed foods are going to be cheaper so I can totally get why you would want to reach for them first reason why you should do that and then the second reason is because all of the like additives preservatives and things like maybe high fructose corn syrup or like weird dyes or whatever that you will find in American foods that a lot of people will complain about saying that your food is poison and all of that is the food that you will find in processed foods not in whole foods and I'm not saying that it's true that like American food is being poisoned of course not um, it's just that certain regulations aren't the same as in Europe nothing is dangerous it's just that there are certain levels and like certain additives certain things that, that just don't have the same criteria to be accepted as in France and so if you want to get closer to the French way of eating then you want to not get as many of these foods and if you do want to get these foods once in a while it's absolutely fine you actually should or else it's going to create restriction then you can try to read labels and just try to like compare different food items and see which ones seem like they have like the fewer amounts of preservatives additives whatever and again not all additives preservatives are necessarily bad or harmful this is just to get a little bit closer to the french way of doing things and i also have a video to help you like if you don't know which ones you should be watching out for you can watch that right here or in the description another thing that kind of goes along with that is that you should try to cook from scratch as much as possible try to make your meals from like ingredients <laughs> rather than like getting the meal already pre-made that's the way that a lot of french people do it and this is generally kind of a habit to take i know that for instance french people whenever we make pancakes we just use eggs and like flour maybe like a banana or something and like milk and we make our pancakes and for me as a french person it sounds it seems like really crazy that you guys would have like a pancake mix because i'm like why do you need a mix pancakes are already so easy to make now of course these are fun and fine to do once in a while i i love them personally but it just shouldn't be something that is your kind of like normal default thing to get like pre-made foods eating more fruit and vegetables is also really important you should be eating at least five portions of fruit and or vegetables a day like that's a message that gets like broadcast everywhere so we're definitely careful about making sure that a meal always has at least like one source of veggies and then maybe one fruit as well so that that's definitely something that you can do and i know that fresh fruit and veggies can be expensive like i'm currently in new york like it's it's terrifying however you can also get like canned frozen which will make things cheaper and it's also a question of prioritizing certain foods over others like my sister and i will get like these huge tubs of fruit um that cost like eight dollars which is like very expensive for like fruit that's already like cut and everything but we're like okay this is our pleasure of the week and we're gonna ration them out <laughs> enjoy them and we're gonna prefer to spend our money on that than on some like ultra processed like treat or something the second point is to shop like a french person so that 
means not buying in bulk not like shopping in bulk you don't need to be getting a bunch of groceries that you don't need just because you're walking around the store and you see a bunch of stuff that you like the way that a lot of french people do things is they're gonna make a list for maybe like the week or like a few days and then they're gonna get the ingredients only from their list and that's the only things that they're gonna buy from the from the store and then they're gonna shop regularly for like more fresh produce or things like that the way that a lot of americans do it they go to stores where there there's just like a bunch of stuff like hyper <laughs> hypermarkets they go to like costco and they buy a bunch of stuff in bulk and then they're like okay i'm just gonna buy all this stuff and then see how later i can use it so it's much better to actually only shop for the things that you need the ingredients that you need for your recipes of the week and stick to that that's also going to make you save like time money french people also like to go to specific shops to get specific things like maybe farmers markets for like fruit and veggies and then a bakery for bread and then a cheese store for cheese i don't even know if you guys have cheese stores that's fine you don't you don't need them or they go to a like butcher for meat another point you need to consider is that working on the french eating habits so what french people have specific eating habits first of all they eat way more mindfully than a lot of people from the u.s so this means that if you want to apply that to your way of living you need to take your time when you eat focus on only your food without distractions eat slowly take the time to chew and to really like appreciate what's on your plate and then all the different flavors and like taste textures all of that and to really take your time you don't want to be like inhaling all your food in like three seconds another kind of typically french behavior is to really make the meal a whole like social situation so you kind of share the meal with your family or with your friends i know that in like most french households that i know it's totally normal for everybody to wait for each other to eat like if people get home from like work or school at different times and they have like different activities whatever that's fine we're just all gonna wait for each other and find a time that works for everybody and then eat our dinner then and have like kind of a long sit down dinner and if you live alone or if you, that's that's not possible you can still have a long sit down dinner where you are focusing on your food and enjoying the moment and making it kind of like an entire experience rather than just like eating in five seconds in front of like your computer another thing that french people do is that they limit eating out or like ordering out it's not a very common thing in france eating out is kind of like a treat that we do and like once in a while and then or ordering food as well whereas i know a lot of people from the u.s they're just gonna like every time they don't want to cook or they're you know they're late or whatever they don't have time they're just going to order food order food order food so again if you want to get more into that way of doing things and then making your own meals not eating out too much and reserving that for like special occasions making it like a full treat is more the french way of doing things and then another really good french tip that i think you should implement is le goûter so this means that we usually will have like a snack kind of like a set at like a set time usually around like four or five between lunch and dinner where we will have maybe some bread and like some chocolate or like some nuts some fruit a, some yogurt whatever a tiny little meal basically that is pretty balanced and satisfying and that will hold us over until dinner and i think that's a really good habit to implement because most american people i know they don't have like set times for snacks they just kind of like snack throughout the day they're just kind of like grazing having some chips having some like chocolate having this that um so it's never really something that is like planned out and portioned out and really even like satisfying and i feel like if you were to plan that out then it would be way easier not to like grace throughout the day because you know that you're going to have your one moment where you're going to be able to snack on a mix of foods that are going to make you feel good and energized but also foods that satisfy you and like satisfy your cravings and adopting the french attitude is also important so this looks like eating everything you want anything you want you don't have to restrict anything but you do have to eat it in moderation so that means that if you love chocolate you're not going to be eating like chocolate every single day 
for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and having like three tablets. No, however, you can have a few squares of chocolate every day with your coffee or like for a dessert or for a snack. Or if you love pizza, you're not gonna be having it every day, but maybe like every Friday you can have a pizza night and have a pizza, you know, things like that. So it's not about restricting and it's about listening to your body and in indulging, satisfying your cravings, but also fueling your body and giving your body ingredients that make it feel good. That's really the way that French people see things is that they feel like they're doing something good for their body, that they're taking care of themselves. It's not about them like depriving themselves of food. And then staying active is also crucial. French people love to walk everywhere and like st stay active by taking the stairs or doing things around their house or just like in general, in general staying active and they do that more than like going to the gym like every single morning, for instance. Now, what if you feel like you don't have time to do any of this? That's a question I get asked a lot. People will say, well, how do you have the time to do all of that? First of all, very technical. We usually have dinner later, maybe around like 7.30, 8, like French people in general. My family has like dinner at 8.30. I have dinner at like 9, but that's like really, really late. I would say the majority of people is between 7.30 to 8, but that still le leaves you like so much time to actually make your dinner and then eat your dinner and then you still have time before you go to bed. Usually French people will go to bed around like 11 or 11.30. So if that's something that's possible for you, I would definitely look into that. And that's also why we have le goûter, the snack that kind of like holds us over or else it would be really hard if you weren't eating from like noon to eight to like last that long. And if you were to like not eat, that would probably lead you to make decisions that aren't as good for you, like just like ordering out something or just eating kind of like whatever junk you can find without really cooking something because you're too hungry and like we don't want that if you don't have a lot of time to cook that's fine you don't have to spend two hours in the kitchen not a lot of french people do that we only do like the really long cooking the really long meals for like special occasions when we like have people over like we usually are not eating five course meals every single day most people aren't so most of the meals i make i can make them in under 30 minutes and they're pretty balanced they're easy they're good but they're not like they don't take up that much effort they don't look extravagant and that's reality in most cases and so if you're wanting some ideas go check out my like what i eat in a day videos i have like a playlist for that right here or in the description obviously it's a question of priorities you need to decide to prioritize this because obviously there are so many different things in life that you could prioritize or not and i feel like the french way is just that we would always prioritize like a family meal even if sometimes as a kid i was annoyed because i was like i'm hungry i don't want to wait for like dad to get home from work but it's kind of like our priority as a family was to do that and so that's the way that we would do things Again, I'm not saying that this is good or, or bad. I'm just saying that's the French way to do it. And if you're interested in eating that way, then, you know, I think it would be good to prioritize it. Planning your meals is also something that can really help. I, I feel like meal prepping is more a, like American thing than French thing. Not a lot of French people I know actually meal prep, but they all meal plan. So that means that they are going to kind of make a list of the foods that they're going to be eating throughout the week and then they're gonna be like getting the ingredients for that. Hi. Hi. And so that way when they come home from work, they don't have to use any brain power to decide what they wanna eat and like get the ingredients. They just know, okay, it's Monday, we're eating like this dish coming home, making it, and then eating. It's kind of like an automatic process. Also, I do get a lot of my clients telling me that they, they don't have the time to eat a full lunch at work. And I can totally understand that because like the French system is kind of set up so that you have usually one hour or two hours for a lunch break. But first of all, it's not always the case in France. And if that's not the case where you work in the US, that's okay. There are still things that you can do. You can try to bring in things that are like pretty easy that they aren't gonna make you like take up too much time to make like a sandwich or leftovers from the night before or something like that. So it's still a pretty like balanced, good option for you to eat. And then if you can take like maybe 10 minutes just to sit down and have your meal without distractions and just like focusing on it for this short amount of time, like a small break, then that would be great. If you can't do that, it's also okay to eat your meal while you work. As you eat, take a little break, 
from like the screen and be like, okay, how's this tasting? Am I enjoying this? This is good. And then, you know, back, kind of do this back and forth, but have at least a few moments where you're fully present in what you are eating. It's only like a minute or two. I think that that is something that is maybe more, um, sounds more achievable for people than spending a full hour eating their meal. And if you can't do any of that, that's also okay. Know that your like lunch meals are going to be probably maybe like five meals out of 21. So if you can't focus on them, that's okay. You can just kind of compensate with the other meal and make sure that you're fully present with your other meals and that you're taking the time, eating mindfully and just doing all the things we talked about for those meals. Finally, I do want to say that things in France are changing kind of sad but what i'm describing here is usually the habits that like my parents generation would have um so some people of our generation my generation they still do that but it's getting more and more common for us to eat more like the american way so if you're french and watching this and thinking that that's not the way that you do things maybe not but it is kind of like the traditional more traditional french way of doing things and it's definitely a thing that I think like I think these habits are good. I think they need to be passed down and I hope this video can help with that. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.